and the most consistent BR across a lot of probably all of the games. It's got to be Roy. I think Roy had the best BR of all time. Roy is most known for his BR. There is no one better. You don't need rockets. You don't need a sniper if you're Roy. All you need is four shots. One shot lobby. I got him. No man. One shot lobby. Oh, oh my god. Scratch that. I'm going back open side. Waiting for two guys, three guys coming up going for finishing off my triple kill. Sorry, Greg. Thank Woo. you. Roy would hit four shots religiously. If you met him in pit at Rocket Hallway, just expect one, two, three, jump, and you're gut. And so if you miss one bullet, you're punished. I can confidently say he had the best BR shot in Halo 3. Literally forward me every single time. It wasn't like metaphorically, like literally like four shots, I was dead every time. And I was just like, is anyone seeing this? Don't get in front of Roy, he's gonna four shot you every time. Roy is a very passionate player. He is fueled off energy. When you think of like warriors in wartime, he's that guy, he's like Troy running out. I died, I got the other kill, I can sleep with the first one. Yeah, we made it, another one right in front, that's gonna be a double kill there. Oh! oh! Roy's machine like accuracy with the battle rifle was unmatched, making him one of the most feared players in the league and earning him a fitting nickname. I think they started this thing where they're like, all right, I'm a machine or I'm a robot, I do not miss. And then Roy turned his gamer tag into Roy Borg. He very well might be a robot, but no, I didn't do any of those tests, so I can't say 100% that he's human. What do you got here? Tell us what you got. This is a robot. His shot was literally like robotic. The highest level, like you can't miss. Like you just can't. And he just never did. He was so consistent. At that point, people were like arguing, like who's the best player in the game? And he was always right there. Like, is he the best? He might be the best. Is he the best? He might be the best. One of the most solid, from top to bottom, Halo players that have ever played the game. His shot was insane. He didn't miss snipe shots. He thought his DMR was good. His sniper was insane. Let's go, dude! Roy, he's supposed to do something as well. Oh, 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 oh my! No! He takes it down. One kill to go. Roy in a 1v1 with Tuscan. How many times have we seen it over the years? Roy wins a 1v1 BR fight. Up to gaming. I wanted to avoid any team Roy was on, which was mostly instinct, I wanted to avoid that team probably more than any. Came to the conclusion, you want to play against these guys or with them? That was an obvious answer. They were so good and he's so consistent and you always knew like it was going to be probably the toughest match that you'd ever come up against. And we went like what, 42 and one in two tournaments in a row, which has never been done before that or after that. It's unheard of. That's why we got called the God Squad. While Roy is often remembered for his incredible skill in the game, it was his positive attitude and integrity that left a lasting impression on teammates and opponents alike. He's a guy, he, he's just gonna walk up, he's just gonna shake your hand, look you in the eyes and just introduce himself. Roy's one of the nicest guys you'll ever. As a caster, I try to remain unbiased, but I can be biased in, in many times uh, cheering for Roy. It's hard not to root for the guy. Roy will be remembered for, obviously, his great shot, but what I think he should be remembered for is his passion, how much his emotions fueled him in game. His legacy is cemented, and he will be remembered for years and years and years.